everybody. Today I wanted to make a video on humanitarian and compassionate applications. This is an application that is an exceptional application uh, under Canadian immigration law. It's an application for foreign nationals who are in Canada and who don't meet the requirements of other immigration applications. Uh, for example, economic immigration applications or sponsorships, uh, work permits or study permits. And sometimes um, some people do not qualify for those applications anymore because they have been in Canada out of status um, for some time due to various reasons. They, they they didn't renew their, their paperwork, uh, somebody made a mistake in giving them bad advice, they got confused, um, they let the time run out, and it could be a lot of different reasons. So sometimes people travel to Canada um, on visitor status or they come and make a refugee claim and then they're refused, but then they end up staying here. A lot of that is happening uh, in Canada right now, you could see that in the news. Um, or they do other applications thinking they're, quali they're, they're qualifying and then they get refused. And, Ultimately, all of this leads to people, foreign nationals, being in Canada uh, without any legal status. Some leave and then some stay in Canada for some time, um, either because they've built a life here for themselves. Um, a lot of them, they don't want to go back to their country for different reasons. Um, some people uh, get married and have children and now their children are Canadian and going to school. Some people might have certain health issues. I have a lot of clients that are um, for example, I do agency applications for um, elderly parents who don't have anybody back home who are taking care of them. And then they come, for example, let's say to visit their, their children here and then um, they become very dependent on their children. So now they're older and their children here or one child here or one person here is the one person uh, caring for them. So they end up staying and it's impossible or, uh, or it could be very difficult for them to go back home where they're going to be alone and no one's going to take care of them. So. Agency applications, applicants uh, are very diverse and it can be a lot of different situations. Every situation is unique. I would say there's no two agency applicants that I've seen that are uh, the same. The facts are it can be very, very different. Um, so if you came to Canada, for whatever reason, or you were in Canada and now you're out of status and you've been in Canada for a long time, this is not an application for people that have been here a couple of weeks or a couple of months. It's really, it has to be some time. Usually it's a couple of years. Uh, we could do an application if you have been here um, a short period of time, but it's really gonna depend on the facts. Uh, for example, for an elderly parent who's being taken care of, that could be a, a situation where if you haven't been here that long, we could um, look into the option of a humanitarian application, but usually it's for people that have been here some time and they're really integrated. They are integrated into Canadian society. Um, they're established here. They have friends. They may or may not have family, but they've developed a network of friends. Um, for example, they're part of a community, a temple or a church or a spiritual organization. They're working. Um, they're involved uh, in things that every Canadian um, usually is doing. So this is these are facts that the officer is going to look at when assessing humanitarian and compassion application. And the officer is also going to look at what is the hardship if this person were to return to their home country at this point? Is it going to be extremely difficult for them? Is it going to be uh, very, very hard? So there's a compassionate um, and empathetic uh, view of the, the application that is done by the officer. Now, not all officers are able to apply the proper test, but this is why as lawyers we try our best to submit really, really strong applications um, to really demonstrate that this is a person that's going to suffer if they go back home. So we demonstrate that through photos, through reference letters, through documents, through our submission letter. Um, so we put information about what the person has been doing in Canada. What are the people that are going to be impacted if this person has to all of a sudden leave? And if this person goes back to their home country, are they going to suffer? Um, are they going to be able to reintegrate their, their, their community over there? Or, or is there no longer a community that's going to support them? Are they going to have financial hardship? Um, I have some clients here who work here and send money abroad to their children or adoptive children or nieces and nephews or people that are dependent on them or parents or siblings that have maybe mental health issues. So the fact that they're here is very important because they're maintaining and sustaining the life of other people outside Canada. So that's that's very important and we can show that with the money transfers, with information, with affidavits and reference letters. Um, so it's something, an agency application is something that looks at all of the components of an applicant and, and different facts around the story. Um, but it's very important that if you are considering a humanitarian application that you really consult uh, with an expert representative, a lawyer, to really say, okay, this is the story, this is 
what I'm going through, this is what I'm feeling, this is my life, um, and what what are my options? Would a humanitarian make sense? Uh, you know, sometimes I see uh, students that come here on a study permit. They're 20, 21 years old. They don't go to school. They drop out, and then they come to my office and say, "I want to apply for humanitarian application," and they've been here like six months, eight months. That's not that's not what a humanitarian application is for. It's really an exception that was created in the law to really um, help people that are suffering, uh, that could suffer if they leave, and um, and that are established here and they have a life here, and they're living a life here that any other permanent resident or Canadian is living. Um, so it's very important to, to look at these details because we can't just submit an application without thinking about these things. Uh, once we apply, it takes some time for the officer to open the file to look at it, and um, if you do have a refusal on your application, humanitarian, then um, removal proceedings can, can start and it could cause even more um, hardship for these people. So it's really important uh, for the applicant himself, herself, to really um, come forward with all the facts. But it's very important for lawyers and, and representatives to ask the right questions to make sure that these applicants are, are qualifying for this application. Um, thank you and see you next time.